Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. Guys, before I go any further, please do remember to like, subscribe and share my YouTube video with your friends and your family and the people you know, the people you don't know and even your enemies. Well guys, I spoke about mental issues in Jamaica in one of my previous video and today I'm going to I have to touch on that same subject again and I am going to when I see something I'm going to talk about it and with the hope that it might get to the right people and they do something about it well on Sunday again a 13 year old boy was killed by his uncle and the uncle was mentally challenged and they t they they arrested the mental handicapped person and that person needed help maybe that person was crying out for help for a very long time and didn't get the help and now it this is what happened the poor 13 year old boy lost his life. And these are some of the things that are happening in Jamaica. Because when I was there, mental issue wasn't really treated like an illness. It was more like fun where people would jeer them, would, you know, make fun of them, throw stones at them, you know, do all these cruel things to them and they have no control of whatever happened to them because if you're mentally challenged then they don't understand that certain things they should not be doing or certain things should not be done to them so they are a danger to society and something needs to be done to take them off the streets this happened on sunday and on saturday something similar happened where a mentally challenged person also followed there were two men in a bar he followed them outside the bar he the man went into his car he broke the man's window and stabbed the man another person tried to help him he stabbed that person also so the every all the people that were there or a lot of the people that were there mauled him and killed him. And he was mentally challenged also. Had it been in his right mind, maybe this would not have happened. But yet, there's another person out there on the street that needed help, didn't get the help. And then, in this case, he lost his life. A lot of these crimes that are happening, like the domestic crimes that are happening, without any reason are happening because some of these people are mentally challenged i'm not going to say all of them are maybe this might be in the minority but at the same time this poor 13 year old high school boy would not have lost his life you never know what happened between him and his uncle but at the same time he is a kid he doesn't understand mental issues and maybe this 22 year old uncle lived there with all the kids and people around him and he was a threat to them and yet he was not in some kind of institution where he could have gotten the help he needed so i'm going to press this issue because as i say I remember only one person, one homeless person that I could remember that was really crazy. But at the same time, you know, there were a lot of people walking around, walking around and we call them mad. And we knew that they had issues that they needed help, but it was just normal for people to just walk around and not getting the help they need. If things had has advanced so much mental issue is no longer a disgrace and it should no longer be a disgrace so when you when if you see somebody 
that you think that something is wrong with them, you should try as much as possible for them to get the help they need because they are not going to think. It's just like a person who might have Alzheimer's and you, you tell them, okay, something is wrong. They're going to say, no, nothing is wrong with me. I'm fine. It's the same thing. You tell somebody who has mental issue that they have mental issue, they're going to say, no, nothing is wrong with me. You're the one who is crazy, not me. So the people who are of sane minds are the ones who need to help these people to try and avoid issues like what happened with this kid on Sunday. So guys, see you back here on my next YouTube video. You have a wonderful day.